Hi everyone, it's Norma, and I'm just doing a quick video on um, a Kringle candle haul I did. This is, you know, they're having their semi-annual sale right now. Select scents are 50% off. And I actually placed this day on, I believe it was Christmas Day or December 26th, the first day they had it on the sale. And at the time, they had just a very, very limited scent selection. Since then, they have added more candles and they weren't shipping out until January 4th. So I was really, really super tempted to call customer service to see if they would add some more candles to my order, but I decided against it because it's like, you know, I have enough, I have enough. Now, this order isn't as crazy as it could have been because my thought process was I only wanted to get things online that I couldn't get at my local Myers. My local Myers started carrying some Kringle candles and I was told that the day after Christmas they were going to be marked down to 50% off and then as time goes on they, they will keep slashing the prices. So they had a, you know a pretty decent selection of some of my favorite scents like um, they had Christmas, they had uh, snow-capped Fraser, they had peppermint cocoa, they had cozy cabin. Um, one candle that I really, really, really wanted to try was the spiced apple. Um, but uh, my plan didn't quite work out the way I thought it was going to do because what happened is I kept checking all month through the month of December, I kept checking the candle section and frankly, the, the Kringle candles weren't moving very well. Some of the small tumblers had sold, but for the most part, the large jars were there. Well, a few days before Christmas, Myers moved all the Kringle candles from the candle section into the Christmas section, where they got a lot more visible exposure. And I went on Christmas Eve, checked out the candles, and they were starting to disappear. And I was getting a little bit nervous because I was going to be out of town the day after Christmas. I was coming back late that evening or late that afternoon, early evening. So there was going to be a whole day when the candles were 50% off that I wasn't going to be there. Um, so I end up ordering two snow cap Frasers because I had given um, a couple away, you know, as gifts during Christmas. And so I replaced them, and I'm really, really glad I did that because as it turned out, Snowcap Fraser was not one of the scents that went on sale at my Myers. And then I end up getting four large jars of Christmas Stroll because this is one I've been wanting to try, but it's always sold out. And so I figured it must be good if it's always sold out. And basically the scent description is like pine, balsam, fir, sweet moss, green, spicy, winter air. Um, and Kringle in general does really, really well with their pine scents. So obviously now the holidays are over. I'm not going to be trying that out until next year, but I'm excited to try it. And then the only other thing I, I did was I got the tea lights and yeah, they're really, really pricey. I mean, a box, this is a box of 12 and they normally run, I think, $12.95 and then they were, you know, 50% off. But I, I use a lot of tea lights, but I use a lot of even more tea lights during the holidays and Christmas. And these were nice. And they, the Snowcat Fraser especially throws when you have multiples of them. So I decided to splurge on some holiday tea lights. And I just want to give you a size comparison. This is just a regular Yankee unscented one in the metal. And then this is a Yankee scented tea light. And then this is the Kringle tea light. I just think they're just a nice full size. I mean, they're basically the same, but they just, you know, it's, to me, they seem like they're fuller. Um, and I was getting a, a decent central, like I said, when I had multiples going. So basically, that's all I did. Um, I ended up not getting my spiced apple because it sold out at my Myers, And, you know, I talked myself out of placing um, another order. And, you know, the sale still is going on, but... I'm going to try to be good because um, my Myers has started to come out with some of the spring scents. So there's, um, you know, a few things that I'm interested to try. I did pick up this Daylight. Um, this is one of their new spring scents. It's not even on the website yet. And this is Picket Fence. 
and basically it is um, it's like a, a rose based scent but it's perfumey it's not like a straight up rose like a fresh cut roses or anything like that so it's it smells like it's going to be really really super strong so if you're not into heavy floral scents you probably would not like this one but I'm interested to try it so I'll try the daylight first and see how it goes um, I also saw they had a scent called Egyptian cotton which you know smelled basically what like you would expect to you know like a fresh laundry cotton type of scent and that one did smell good and then they had some other ones in there that um, are in their current lineup they I saw gray fresh lilacs um, cherry blossom so the spring stuff is coming in folks so I decided okay I think I have enough of of Christmas scents um, I'm gonna start saving my money so I can you know get some you know new spring scents that all the candle companies are gonna be coming out with in the next few days so that'll be exciting so anyway that's it if you guys like this video please comment like and subscribe below and have a blessed day